Hello everybody, it's Russell Brand here. Now, I know you haven't heard from me for a while, and that's because I've been so busy writing and printing and selling my books, you know, using the means of production to print and produce those books and then distributing them in the wholesale capitalist market for a profit to uh, earn money, which I kind of, you know, condemn in my book about the financial system, which I, you know, make an analogy that it was a, it was a, a vacuum cleaner ruining my life. I just throw out the vacuum cleaner. So I want to throw away the financial system but I, I want to make money by saying throwing away the financial system. Yeah, I hope you understand. You see, it's all in this beautiful decision and dream tree. See, I have this tree on my wall, and that helps me make decisions. Now, anyway, so I want you all to just, you know, realise why I haven't come and spoken out against any of the Israelis and the Jews being massacred in the recent weeks. You know, like, you know, five people just, you know, exercising their freedom of religion and just praying in a synagogue and getting hacked to death with, with like, a cleaver and getting shot and a little three-month-old girl being run over. Um... Just, just because they're Jewish, you know, and why haven't I spoken out about that, okay? So I just want to explain, and it's because it doesn't fit into my moral relativism social narrative. You see, according to moral relativism, everything's acceptable, and everything can be justified given the right reasons. And given my social narrative, I view the Israeli conflict within the context of the oppressed and the oppressor. So automatically, as long as I, as long as I designate somebody to be the oppressor, in this case the Jews, because they've got big tanks, aren't they? Scary. Um, big, big, big tanks. I wonder why they need the tanks. But they've got big tanks, so they are the oppressor. And the Palestinians, with all of their money and all their stuff, they're the oppressed because, you know, maybe I see them as black and all the Jews are white. You know, just that some stupid kind of apartheid logic. You know, a lot of South Africans say that. But I buy into that. So given that, it doesn't matter if Jews are hacked to death because they're the oppressor. You see? You see? You see? Everything is excusable given moral relativism. And that's why the London bombings were completely acceptable because Britain has a big army. You understand me? So if you are an oppressor, you have a tank, you have a strong army, everybody can just kill you. It's all right. It's morally justified. All right, guys, go buy my book because I would like some more money. Bye.